Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at a car phone mount for your car that has a couple options bundled into it. First of all, it comes with a built-in vent mount where you can attach it to the vent in your car and a dashboard mount with a suction cup here to adjust to your dashboard and adjust it however you want. Now we're going to talk about the pros and cons of this. This was a review unit sent to us from Miracast, or Miracase, I believe is how you pronounce it. I apologize if I got that wrong. But they are a well-known brand in the world of cell phone car mounts and all kinds of other products. And they did send us this review, but they do not get to see this review before it goes live. They're watching it like you do. We're 100% independent in it. So with that said, if you want to find out current pricing for this model, I hate to talk about pricing because it changes so rapidly, but link in the show notes down below, I'll put it there so you can find out current pricing to these, um, this model here with the optional dashboard mount on Amazon in the show description and in the first pinned comment. Also, before we get into the review real quick, Help us grow. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Please help us grow. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. With that said, let's dive into it. Let's take a look at this car for mount. Now, we do have the stand here. We'll cover this in a quick second. Let me set that down. But let's actually take a look at the um, case itself. Now, this is with the vent mount here where you can uh, open it up and clip on a vent. And they do have a... Um, metal bar here that slides out there we go spin 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 so this slides always out clips around the back of your car vent it doesn't need to be vertical or horizontal car vents for that to work the case itself is very nice there is a little bit button right here a little button right here to release it so you put your phone in there and you can lock it in place and then press that button to unlock it so here's my pixel 6 pro with a very thick case on it you see it holds on very easily no issues with it falling out i really do like that but with just a tap of this button right here, the case is easily removed. And I do like, one more thing real quick, I do like how, if I put my phone in straight, the uh, USB-C charger, for my phone's USB-C, right here is still accessible because they have this nice mount here where I can still plug in a cable and charge my device through that. A few other things with this, it is very deep grips here, and they are soft rubber on that, which is very, very nice. Um, with that, and it is of course on all, no matter which stand you decide, is adjustable. And by tightening or loosening this, you can actually lock it in place whatever angle you want. Because all cars are different, all people are different, and the angle that works best for you is probably different than the one that works best for me. So keep that in mind. Now the other thing they have here is this uh, mount here. It's meant to attach a dashboard, and I will show this in action, both of these different mounts in action in a minute. You do have the ability here to collapse this and extend it. You can also, by loosening this dial here, um, rotate it. I know it's a little loud. Um, rotate it to be whatever angle you want. So you're going to have it come down low on the dashboard. You can have it stick up high in the dashboard. It's really up to you how you want this. You can extend it or collapse it. Really nice option here. You do have the ability here to push the suction cup on and then you lock it like that for extra power. A little lever here to pop it off. And it is actually a sticky suction cup. So it's not a suction cup, but there's a sticky material on here, which works really well. Let me put that down, grab the case here. Um, if I grab the right one, there we go. Now, real quick, a few highlights as I show you this in action. This is a very good cell phone mount in my opinion. I've been using it for a few weeks now, and there are different models I've had no complaints about. Them. It reliably grips and holds my phone, even when going over a, a Michigan potholes. If you live in Michigan, you know what I'm talking about with Michigan potholes. We're hitting a heavy set of railroad tracks that you weren't quite expecting to be that bumpy. I've had no issues with it holding on my phone, which I really like. I also like having my phone up displayed. Kind of, I find it for me personally, it reduces the temptation to pick up my phone, look at it, mess around with it. Growing number of city, states, locations, even just handling your phone can be illegal while you drive. So keep that in mind. Um, also a great option to display Google Maps or whatever it is that you're looking at with it. So two thumbs up in the quality. The, uh, it is plastic mostly, but the metal clamp that goes around the vent um, is metal which helps make it very durable. You also have the upgrade clamps that kind of grip onto it also there. So overall, two thumbs up. I really do find this to be an excellent uh, car mount for your car. It does a great job of keeping your cell phone in place or you've uh, limited the, the temptations to pick it up and hold it, maybe to look at GPS directions or whatever you may be doing. So I do encourage you, if you're looking at a cell phone mount, you're not sure if you want a car vent mount or if you want a dashboard mount, this one comes with both. They're both very good quality. And they both seem to be reasonably priced. So keep that in mind. So overall, 
two thumbs up. I do think this is a good quality. I do think this is worth the uh, price they're charging. And in my experience, I've had no issues with it. So two thumbs up. Link in the show notes and the first pin comment to find on Amazon. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll, if I know the answer, I'll do my best to answer it for you. Thanks for your support. Now, if you want to help us out, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here, so they recommend our videos to more people, and it helps us get closer to that 10,000 subscriber mark we're working really hard to hit. So thanks for your support. We'll be back with another video real soon.